Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video with me, the Tinkering Dev. In this video, as you can see, I have this old toy. Uh, this is actually mine. I think I got it for birthday or Christmas present. Probably when I was, I don't know, three, four, five. Uh, I recently found it at my mother's house. Um, and I do remember it. Uh, and I discovered that it has some faults. Um, yeah, I can show you. I have the box. This is the original box. Uh, no, that, that way. Uh, it's called Run Yourself Ragged. And uh, well, it's a, it's a mace. You put a. I don't have this, uh, the ball right here right now, but you should have one of these. Iron balls or steel balls, magnetic. Um, and you just push start here, and you use this one to get it to here. And this one, this is a magnetic thing here, and it goes through a maze. Uh, it do misses this one. As you can see, it's some kind of timer. It says run yourself ragged. I assume you just pull it on something like that. So. This is supposed to be timed, so you have a limited amount of time to complete the course. And I don't have that part. If anyone of you have, have that, I might be interested in buying it. It would be nice to have this complete. If everything else is original and complete, it would be nice to have it complete, as I said. Uh, and it's also nice that I have the original box. I think it's been used for something else. Probably by my mother, since she has used some nasty tape here. Uh, I, don't know, I don't see any years stamped on it here. Some don't tell me. Let me see if there's some. Made in Singapore. No year. Uh -oh. Well, I know I got it uh, in the last, I think it's in the late 70s, perhaps 79 or 78, or perhaps the late 80. I'm not sure. Somewhere around that. But this has one problem. Uh, at least one problem. I know. This is this. this it doesn't go all the way. This, the same note as you can see here, it turns number two, which is this one, this one, and number seven, which is this one. They are not synchronized, so not probably because they have been loosened. And they don't go full circle. Well, they should go half circle. 180 degrees. So this is what I'm going to fix. And then, of course, you see someone, <coughs> probably me, has drawn a red line here just to probably indicate where <laughs> the little ball is to go. Uh, um, and I also remember I have taken this apart uh, before. And the race is finished when this is going over. And it iron ball hits the little bell. So, we'll see if I can fix this one, and I will see if I can clean up this, I will clean everything, but the main part is to fix this. So, let's see how to take this apart.
Okay, good. Put that aside. Okay, so this simple spin. Okay, I can't remove all the loose parts here. That's not bad. Now that's just as loose. Yeah, it's also loose. It looks just as if I could simply put this correctly from the start. Just like that. Now that I'm crippled up, yeah, it's in correct position here. Uh, limit, and that's limited by this little latch. So. Oh well, I probably need to just, I could, could probably adjust them here, uh, as long as I, I know that they don't get stuck. Uh, that's probably easy fixes, since no parts seems to be uh, broken or anything. This looks good. Not really sure why that spring is there. Looks fine. Uh, I think I'll just start by removing all of this string and, and clean everything up, and then perhaps put some lubricant on this and make sure that they work. Yeah, I'll do that.
I wonder how to pull these apart without breaking them. Okay, so as you can see, I have now fast forward. Uh, I got a little time here, and I have washed all of these in uh, just soap and water. So everything here should be clean and nice. Uh, and I have also tried. Uh, I try to remove these lines with some uh, alcohol and other. The chemicals, nothing really worked except except uh, acetone. But with acetone, it sort of eats away the the plastic too, so it wasn't a very good option. I thought I also tried some uh, gasoline, petrol. That worked fine, except the same. It it kind of destroys the plastic, it messes up. The texture it, it sort of melts the plastic and I don't want that so I will I will leave these old pen marks and hopefully they will vanish in time uh, it's only been about 40 years so perhaps in another 40 years they will be gone <laughs> so let's put this back together where to start and one more thing, I also got this iron metal ball that is magnetic and will work in all of these corners and uh, labyrinths and so on. So, good. Okay, I will assemble this back together.
also just noticed that this hole is missing a, a thing here that I don't have. Uh, it's supposed to be a, a pole with a circle, so, so kind of a loop. So when the ball jumps there, jumps there, and it jumps, it goes through that hole. Uh, I don't have that. So, hmm. also one thing I'm missing I would like to get. Okay, this is starting to be complete now. Uh, I will add some of this silicone grease uh, to these cog wheels and things like that. This is made for plastic and rubber.
Okay, so this doesn't work still. There is something that... Okay, well, let's take this apart again and see if we can fix it. That's not good. So, finally, after several hours uh, of tinkering with the cogwheels inside, I have managed to fix this. At least it's doable without any glitches. So, if I now turn this wheel here, it's smooth in both directions. This took a long time. Uh, so, now I know that it works, I will show you more exactly. I will open this and show you a bit more what I did to fix it. Okay, good. Okay, uh, I don't really dare to touch this or <laughs> remove them since they are, they are synchronized so that these two big wheels are at the same correct position. Since that's uh, when I turn this wheel, both of them turns, and it's these two on the, on, the, on the other side that needs to be synchronized. But what I did was... Uh, well, what, was, what has happened during these all these years is that plastic on this... The, well, not only this wheel, but the other small wheels as well. Uh, they have been grind down a little bit here and there, so some of these peaks were uh, sharper than others and some of the, the, the sort of the valleys in the middle 
or too low. So in some cases I have filled uh, the low pieces with super glue just to raise them up a bit, which solves some problems. And in other cases I have uh, filed down the, the higher parts uh, since they were uneven. Took some while, some time, a lot of time, but finally I think I've got it uh, without glitches, so I will leave this. Um, so yeah, I will put everything back together and reassemble and hopefully everything works as it should. Okay. Okay, so, test time. Good. Okay. I'm happy with this. Um, let's just put this to the test. Let's do this. Okay, my son. Now it's your turn to test this super duper run yourself ride. This is what it's called. <laughs> Slide. Okay, no swear words. You're on camera. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll stop the timer. Ready, set, go. Yeah. What? There you go. Yeah, I hate. You need to get the floor here. Sorry! I'm just not, I'm not the best of it! So close! Not the best of the action! Good. There you nice, go. Nice, nice, nice. Now slowly, slowly. And be ready with the other one. Well, how you do this? I remember this. Oh. I have to put them together. I'm not fast. Speed, you need to put them together. It's stupid, 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 stupid. 
kids, so today they want to know how to watch YouTube. Well, that's, uh, I can't say no Using to that. Using your hands, it's not. <laughs> Dude! Do okay, this is that direction. Patience. Yeah, okay, so... No. You can follow my line here. What does that picture look like? Yeah. First time I actually lost that one. What? You need to have patience. Stay calm. Wait what? until it's stopped. Turn back the okay. Oh, put them in there. It's not a them. Spin that back. Yeah. You should listen to your dad. Spin Hi. this back. No! No, I don't want to put my friend. Okay, so it's this one. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's Ivan. Um, come on. Come on, you. I gotta do this. Come on, her! <laughs> nope, nope. Ah. Uh. Okay, good. Time is 5 minutes 13 seconds. <laughs> Five minutes thirty, and I probably need to speed that up. So, that's it for now. It was a nice competition. This is a bit tricky. This one is you have to know that you have to have some kind of feeling. And this one is probably I'm not sure if I need to do some adjustments to make it perhaps tilt a bit up like that some more so it's not too difficult i think the original rule states that also if you have this the timer clock should be here i think it's had two minutes in counting down and if you fail somewhere you need to restart from the beginning anyway that's it for this episode thank you and goodbye